Therapy Dogs welcomes students, faculty, and staff back to the MSU Union. One of two buildings closed after the mass shooting on campus February 13th. I, I live right across from the Union, and I was walking right past the Union while it all happened. So it was just a very scary moment in my life. It is kind of like an eerie feeling being in here and like just like even like looking at like the cafeteria doors, just like knowing what happened behind those and like while the kids in there went through. Freshman Lucas Lynch and Cameron Dunsmore visiting the Union today where the food court area remains closed. But this gathering space is open once again. Well, our hope is that students come back to the space when it's right for them. And whether or not that's today, tomorrow, or next semester, we'll stand here ready and willing to welcome them to the doors of, of the Union, the, the living room here of campus. Here at the Union and throughout campus, stronger security is in place. Some of our exterior doors are locked 24 hours a day, seven days a week now for this, this time period. But then again, we also have uh, the building access restrictions. So similar to what you're seeing across campus where we restrict access from 6 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., that will be in applying here at the Union as well. And so after 6 p.m., you'll need a key card access to get into this space. Part of the effort to prevent another mass shooting like the one that took three promising young lives left five others injured and traumatized this community. You can definitely see like around campus like the police presence has definitely increased. You have to use a key card to get in the buildings and it's just it's better that they're taking safety like precautions. As the campus tries to regain a sense of security, return to a sense of normalcy and remain Spartan strong. You just never expect to go through something like that in your life but it's it's, you know, there's better days ahead, so it's good that we're kind of getting back in like a normal phase of things. Berkey Hall will remain closed for the rest of 2023. In East Lansing, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.